today I'm going to be doing a purchase and setup guide for Fakurity for CS2. With that being said, if you guys do want to purchase Fakurity, you guys can head over to the link down below. Uh, you guys can do a 1 day, 14 day, or 30 day key. Once you guys go ahead and do so, you guys can add this to your cart. Once you guys get to your cart up here, you guys can also use my discount code to bring your total down 5%. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alrighty guys, once you get to this point in the video, I'd assume you already have Fakurity, you already purchased a key. Uh, I will leave a link down to this below. It's going to be Fakurity.cloud. This basically gives you a detailed guide of how to actually install it. For the sake of this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do it and how to get it running. But if you guys are having other issues, uh, you guys can go over to the link down below. And it basically goes over everything you guys need to do. For example, if you guys need to get Hyper-V uh, enabled, you guys can like click here, for example, and it goes into an in-depth process based on whatever motherboard you guys use. Uh, but for the sake of this video, uh, once you guys do purchase your key, you guys should receive a download link that should look like this, mega.nz. It should be in the Counter-Strike folder. And then all you guys have to download is the next version. So I'm just going to click this, for example, and I'm going to hit download in the bottom right, as you guys can see. Once you guys get to this page, just hit save on all of those files. You guys should allow multiple downloads as well. As you guys can see, just hit save, save, save. Once you guys do that, that is basically everything that you guys need for this process. Just to be clear, if you guys could not download that, if you had an issue in doing so, go to your uh, Windows security, just hit your Windows key right down below on your keyboard, type in Windows security, go to manage settings here, and then you guys should turn off real time protection. If you guys don't want to do that, you guys can also go down here and add an exclusion. If you guys aren't sure how to do that, there are videos online showing you how to do that. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to get security loaded. Alrighty guys, once you guys do have everything downloaded, you're just going to right click this and hit open or double click it. You're going to hit more info here and hit run anyway. Once you guys get on this prompt, you are going to have to hit yes and then a window should open up that looks just like this. Alrighty guys, once you guys do open up the loader and it loads up, you guys should see something that looks just like this. If you get an error saying your Hyper-V is not uh, enabled or whatever, uh, they do have a link on their website, which I will leave down below, which explains on how to do that. Uh, you guys can also try enable Hyper-V, that little file right there, and that might work for you. If it doesn't, like I said, just go to their website. But uh, if you guys get to this stage here and it looks something like this, it's going to say enter your product key. So basically, once you guys do purchase from us, you will receive an email or it'll be under your account licenses on our website. So all you're going to do is paste in your key. It should look something just like this, as you guys can see. I'm just going to hit enter here and then wait for this to load. As you guys can see, it says license key verified. Your key expires in one day. As you guys saw before the last clip, before I restarted my computer, you basically paste in your license key and then it's going to restart your computer. And basically at this stage, you are going to have to just load up uh, CS2. So basically, I'm just going to open up Steam right now and I'm going to launch Counter-Strike 2. As you guys can see, we're going to hit play and we're going to wait for this to load up. And security should uh, inject automatically, uh, I presume. Alrighty, guys, as you guys can see, you press insert and there you guys go. It's as easy as that. You guys are now loaded and you guys have security uh, injected into your game. Uh, honestly, that was actually pretty easy. Uh, I thought it was going to be a little bit harder. Well, for the sake of today's video, I was just going to go over how to install security. So for the sake of this, I'm just going to go over the features which it offers real quick. Nothing big. Uh, first, for uh, starting off, you guys have your assist here. It's basically your aimbot here. You can change your weapon settings here, your hitbox priority, uh, your visual tab here. If you guys want to enable any of this, you guys can go ahead and do so. Dropped weapons, boxes, grenades. Misc here, auto accept, as well as a recoil across here. And it'll also show you guys when your uh, license key expires with security, uh, which is actually pretty cool. You guys can also enable developer mode. I'm not really sure what that does, to be honest with you. Um, and then you can also change your DPI, your menu key, and you can also reload the mouse driver of colors as well. If you guys want to change the actual color, uh, for example, you know, any me box visible, you guys can change this. You can change the opacity as well. Uh, and then trial here. Uh, this is in development. I believe it's going to be Lua. Uh, but uh, for the sake of this video, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.